Four years ago, I made a video on the 13 ways that you could get CTPs without spending with zero RNG. Well, I'm back with a brand new list that now includes over 30 ways to get CTPs. Now, these are ranked not only in terms of the difficulty and the cost, but also in terms of whether there is no RNG, which is the beginning of the list, or whether there is some or large amounts of RNG towards the end of the list. So without further ado, let's break it off with number one, the absolute easiest, but sometimes hardest thing to do, just log into the game. Just log in every day, you get a free CTP chest. I remember I made this video four years ago when we first got this event, and people were like, wow, we may never get this event again. I literally said that in my video. Well. Now it comes around every update. So you can get, you know, 10 plus free CTPs every single year in Marvel Future Fight with this just one event, just this one event. And you can actually double it by buying the one plus one, but that's not a free way. So I'm technically not going to include it. The second way, almost as easy as the first, you have to log in, collect the event tokens when they're on, and then exchange them for a CTP in the event shop. We have again, 10 of these per year, which means you can now get 20 CTPs per year for free by just logging in and playing the game for a few minutes every single day. The third one I'm gonna do as a catch-all, it's just specific events like the Cosmic Core crafting events and collector's vaults. Some of these appear regularly, some of them don't, but they all have varying degrees of RNG, but they are all technically free ways to get CTPs in the game when they do crop up, if you can get lucky enough. 12 of the next 14 CTPs do involve buying an extreme legendary battle pack, but they are zero RNG ways to get your hands on some really good CTPs, so I still wanna cover them. First off, we have the first two free ones where you don't have to spend any crystals at all. You just have to buy the uniforms, which is technically crystals, but it's a heroic uniform for Hell that gets you a CTP of energy, and then it's a heroic uniform for Hulk that gets you a CTP of refinement. The next two, the next best one, I should say, is Spider-Man Far From Home. You just do, you buy it, you get the Type 3 Enhancement, just Type 3 for Spider-Man, and you get a CTP Selector. Similarly, if you do the Endgame Legendary Battle and you get Type 3 for Thanos, who's really good for PvP, you get a Rage CTP. If you go back to the Ant-Man and the Wasp and you get the original one there, you Heroic the Pimtron Uniform, and you get a CTP Selector. If you get the newest one, the Marvels, and you get that one to um, Type 3, or sorry, Tier 3 for Captain Marvel, you also get a Rage CTP. If you do the Shang-Chi Legendary Battle, and you get, I believe it's Shang-Chi's uniform to Mythic, you get a Judgment CTP, which is quite, quite rare. Then we have the Black Widow Legendary Battle, where you can get your hands on an Insight CTP if you get... Um, Taskmaster's uniform to, I believe, Legendary. After that, there's the Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania Legendary Battle, where you can get a CTP of uh, Insight if you Mythic Ant-Man's uniform. Then we have the Infinity War Legendary Battle, where if you get the Bucky uniform to Heroic, you get a CTP of Refinement. And then the most expensive one, but the one that does have two CTPs, is the old Black Panther, where you can get two CTPs. One, which is the heroic uniform for Shuri, giving you the egg. And then the other, which is the heroic uniform for Killmonger, who is a premium character, so keep that in mind, which gives you an energy. And then finally, we have Thor Love and Thunder, where if you pick up that one and you get uh, Jane Foster to Tier 3, you get a Greed. And then Black Panther 2, where if you get Namor to Tier 3, who is a premium character, unfortunately, you get a destruction. So we've covered logging in, logging in with event completion, and all of the legendary battles. The next way to get a CTP is to grind story mode ultimate dimensional clash only on ultimate and collecting those story mode fragments so that you can craft these chests with a small chance with each chest that you craft to hit a CTP. And we actually covered this in a recent video where you see that the chance is like 0.04%. It's a very low chance for sure, but it is still a chance. And I know lots of players who have gotten a CTP from this, so it's not impossible. The next way to get a CTP after story mode is to grind Shadowland Plus, which is Shadowland beyond stage 35. For every single stage that you complete beyond stage 35 with at least one character, you're gonna be getting 10 of these Shadowland tokens. So it's 10 tokens per character, um, and you can see it's explained up there. All you have to do is save up 11,000 tokens, and you can get your hands on a free CTP every single time. Now, the math is pretty straightforward. If you have a full roster of characters, you'll be getting 232 characters through Shadowland every week, which is 2,320 tokens. Since you need 11,000 tokens, it takes you five weeks per CTP. Again, that's really good. That means you're getting 10 CTPs for free every single year 
adding on top to the other 20 that you're getting from login events and that's before you get any other ctps from story mode or any of the legendary battles but that's not all there are three different ways where you can get ctps from world boss legends so you got to be grinding that up the first way is automatically you're guaranteed to get a ctp when you grind any of the world boss legends that's null mephisto ultron gore gene kang or black swan to stage to conquer excuse me conquer level 50 conquer level 100 conquer level 150 and then conquer level 200. this is for sure going to take you a long time keep in mind that you get more conquer level xp which means you can go up levels faster if you do higher stages so if you can do stage 99 of null and you're doing stage one you should do stage 99 because it's going to get you ctps faster but that's not all because every time you grind a world boss legend you also get these chests here at these other stage intervals that can also drop by chance a ctp i'm not sure why it's so slow to load it's screwing up this video's pacing there it is very cool small chance but it is still free and you could still grind for it by just playing the game additionally if you're playing world boss legend from stage 20 or higher you have a chance with any of the loot boxes that drop here these boss loot boxes to get a ctp on top of that all of the world boss legends have a chance to drop a mighty ctp uh, that has a small chance to drop anytime you're playing them at all remember shadowland well there's another way to get a ctp if you can climb up to shadowland stage 135 or 235 and eventually 335 you can secure yourself a ctp selector as a one-time reward for clearing that stage there's so-called first clear rewards for shadowland and at 135 235 and 335 you get a ctp selector absolutely free but that's not all if you grind other world battle one of the new pvp game modes and you save up 40,000 warrior mementos you can trade those in for a ctp keep in mind that the number of mementos you can farm is going to depend on how well you can do in other world battle because of the daily mental rewards as well as the weekly mental rewards depending on where you rank so being better at it is going to farm you more mementos faster also keep in mind there's a monthly limit that resets so you're locked down to a maximum of one per month but that's still up to 12 ctps absolutely for free with zero rng the next one here is quite rng heavy but dispatch has not one not two but three different ways that you can get a ctp the first two are free so i'll talk about them first in the corner that my screen is blocking you can see a dispatch level every time you level up your dispatch level from one all the way up to 50 you will receive a dispatch level up box and that box has a small chance to contain you guessed it a ctp in addition if you're farming dispatch from sector seven or higher you have a small chance when you are playing to drop you guessed it a ctp it's a very small chance but it is still a chance finally if you're in the dispatch stop, shop and you're buying things with gold i don't recommend you buy them with crystals but if you can also buy them with the dispatch uh, tokens there you have a chance when the mission shop item reveals to reveal a ctp now these ctps aren't going to be free they're going to cost 6500 crystals which is a very bad price but still it is a semi non rng way of sort of guaranteeing yourself a ctp and it's certainly better in some cases than gambling the next way you can grind out a ctp through luck and hard work is through gbr now i don't recommend you play master mold or galactus but with dormammu he gives a chance to drop a ctp only if you play with two other players so you can't get the solo and you have zero percent chance of getting it with just one buddy but if you bring along two other players whether you know them or not you have a chance that rotates every single day to get a different ctp um, and of course using more boost points increases your odds of getting one now this is extremely rare i have to really you know emphasize that i've personally never gotten a ctp once from gbr but then again there are players out there who have gotten multiple ctps from gbr so it is technically real if you're feeling particularly masochistic you can also play alliance conquest and if your alliance is good enough aka in the challenger league which i believe is the top 100 or the top 50 then if you complete 30 attacks 30 successful attacks during one conquest cycle you have a small chance in the mythic contribution chest to drop you guessed it a ctp next up if you've got hidden tickets use them when you're playing dimension missions because although the chance is rare there is still a chance when you pop a hidden ticket in dimension mission that it will drop you a ctp of transcendence this is the only ctp that can drop from hidden tickets and it's a very small chance but it's still a chance likewise if you have boost points over 100 and then if you use them if you burn those boost points playing dimension missions or any epic quest missions 
or dispatch missions, you have a very small chance, however small, to get a CTP of patience, absolutely free. And then finally, if all of these tips fail and you still don't have enough CTPs for your roster, you can always get some crystals, go into the dimension chest and gamble. Now, the best ways to gamble are to hoard your crystals and then wait for the anniversary, which is coming up very shortly, or Black Friday, which is the last Friday of November, because during those events, there will be a three day or four day period where they will discount these chests by 40%. Now, I'm not a, a big advocate for gambling, so this is the last thing I want to talk about in the video, and I don't want to really, like, play it up, but I do want to also give you the best possible strategy if this is the route you go for, because I know a lot of players still do end up gambling for CTPs because they really want to target farm specific ones. So just keep in mind that the anniversary and Black Friday have the best deals by that, you know, giving that 40% discount, reducing this to, like, 405 crystals, I think, per pull, or 420 crystals per full per pull. And then you also have the bingo events that happen during the anniversary and during um, Black Friday that will give you a CTP selector when you spend your first 5,000 crystals, as long as you follow the method outlined in my bingo video and also outlined, you know, online. Um, or uh, you also get a mighty CTP and a brilliant CTP selector at the 15,000 and 25,000 crystal mark. Again, as long as you apply a pretty straightforward strategy to your bingo buying process. But yeah, that about does it for this video. Did I miss any ways to get a CTP in Marvel Future Fight? What did you think? Thank you so much for watching. Good luck out there. Smash the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.